Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Tarot by Melissa and today's reading is going to be focusing on what's ahead for you in the upcoming month of June. So we're going to be taking a look at what energies, events, or situations of significance are presenting themselves to you as you navigate the upcoming month ahead. Let's get into our disclaimers. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so not every message in your pile may be specifically for you, and it may not fully resonate, and that's perfectly okay. Take what resonates with you, leave behind what doesn't, and definitely don't allow it to get you upset or take it personally if something in a general video isn't specific to your situation. If you did want to book a personal reading with me, all the details on how you can do that will be linked in the description box down below. Personal readings are always a great way to get a more specific and accurate read on your own personal situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into our pile selection. So for today's reading, we're doing three piles. For pile number one, we have this lapis lazuli. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, for pile number two, we have this black moonstone. And for pile three, we have some malachite. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your upcoming month ahead, the month of June. Go ahead and select the pile or the crystal you feel the most connected to. And once you've made your choice, scroll down to the description box to locate the timestamp that will take you to your selected reading. See you there. Hey pile one, if you guys picked out this blue lapis lazuli crystal, this is going to be your reading. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what's ahead for you guys in the month of June. So we start off your reading with King of Swords, Page of Swords, Two of Wands, and we have the first house. Okay. <clears throat> Lots of swords energy here. So some of you guys could have a lot of air energy in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, however, either way, this theme of like mental energy and um, communication is significant for you guys this month. So with the first house being here as your overall energy, I feel like some of you guys could be on a new path this month um, or starting something new <clears throat> because the first house is sort of like signifying like where we enter <laughs> the world. It's like the first, how do I, how do I articulate it properly? It's like, yeah, it's like how we enter the world when we're born is the first house. And this, this card, it talks about arrival. So some of you guys could be, yeah, like arriving to something new, starting something new, or maybe even on the precipice of starting something new. And with First House being here, I think that this is going to be a month where you guys are really thinking about, you know, how you are coming across, you know, like what is your approach? Um, how are others perceiving you? What are the things that you sort of put out there that you lead with? Okay, I feel like this group is leading a lot with their like mental energy and their intellect. And you guys might be reflecting on that and evaluating on this um, or evaluating yourself on this this month. So you guys start off the month with King of Swords. So this is a very cold, kind of strict energy that I feel from this card very powerful energy. It's an energy of stepping into the logical authority, right? <clears throat> so I definitely think for you guys, starting off the month of June, there's this, this approach or this perception of you with the first house that you are strong, logical, maybe even How do I want to say? There's just kind of like a cold energy that I'm getting from this. The King of Swords is somebody who they already kind of have. So they're logical. They're reasonable. They're facts over feelings, right? This is very much a person who is going to be looking at things very from a very cut and dry perspective, right? And this is a person who 
has intellect, great problem solving skills. And I do think that you guys are leading with that this month. But I feel like there might be something here with this page of swords around this way that you're entering the month that needs to be examined with more curiosity, okay? <clears throat> because there's a, a lot of cold energy here. And sometimes, you know, we, it's interesting you guys pick this blue crystal too, because so communication could be a thing um, that's work, you're working on this month, but, or focusing on this month, but there's a lot of cold energy here. And I'm wondering if this coldness in your thoughts or coldness in the way you are communicating is being perceived not in the best light by someone or a group. Um, I see you guys with this page of swords getting curious about your thoughts, getting curious about your communication. You notice how we have this giant sword with the king of swords and then with the page we have this little sword and it's like she's sort of just looking at it, examining it. This is a, an energy that's already sort of giving me the vibe of like I've formed my opinion already. I've formed my thoughts. I know what I'm going to say. Like very strong, almost fixed energy that I'm getting from this King of Swords. Whereas when we shift into this Page of Swords, middle of the month, it's almost like you all are taking it a few steps back and really examining the way that you're thinking about things, examining the way that you're communicating, maybe looking for new and fresh perspectives, starting with curiosity versus starting with, I already know, okay? And as we end the month of June with the Two of Wands, there's an opportunity here for growth and expansion here. Things are warming up too. You guys notice how we start the month of June super cold and icy, and now we end the month of June in this really warm, we have volcano energy here, like this warm, exotic place, um, at least as the card depicts, that I think is allowing you the opportunity to explore and expand your horizons a little bit here. So let's continue. I want to see what this is about more specifically if we can. So for pile one, um, what else does pile one need to know about the month of June and what's ahead for them? Ooh. We have distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you re realize a goal. It's interesting, too, because you guys have these narwhal in this card, which are like an Arctic animal. So again, we have that cold energy. And maybe for some of you guys, this cold logic could be needed because this card is talking about using your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. This could be a situation where you need to lean into more logic and, you know, the facts of a situation <clears throat> so that you can achieve what you're wishing to achieve. Let's continue. What else? Change direction with ease. Yep. This is a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. It's a time to reconsider what you're wanting. You may be in for a surprise. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. It's like we start off this month with you guys in a very kind of fixed mindset in a way where it's like you know what you want, you've thought about it, and you are em embodying this logic and factual approach using your intellect to reach what you feel is the goal you want to reach. But we shift and soften here and change direction by the ending of the month. And with the two of wands, I don't know if you guys have really fully decided how to change or where you're going to shift because the two of wands is sort of where we're at that place of decision, right? Things are being reexamined with the page of swords. Maybe you guys are doing more research on this situation mid-month and rethinking your approach, rethinking your thoughts around it, rethinking your mindset, rethinking your communication around it. Ending here with this opportunity to really expand your horizons. And 
you might be kind of thinking, what do I want? You know, what do I really want? What direction do I want to go? Um, there's a realization here at the end of the month that the possibilities for you are truly endless. Um, so I feel that there's this energy toward the ending of the month of June of really surveying all of the potential opportunities. And bringing it back here to the first house, you know, <clears throat> There could be an energy of needing to examine the, how others are perceiving you here, but I feel that you guys are wanting to start something new or move into a new phase of your life in some way. And that's what this month is about. It's about kind of deciding where you're going and how you're going to approach the situation and how you're going to view it and how others are going to perceive you. You know, maybe some of you guys are being perceived as really like cold and calculated, or maybe you're being perceived as really cutthroat in terms of the way you're approaching the situation. And that's something that you're shifting out of by ending of the month. So let's see. What else does Pile 2 need to know about this upcoming month of June for them? We have the Antelope Spirit. Life is speeding up beautiful energy. So things in your life are starting to move forward, right? We go from this, again, this cold energy to warm energy. Things being on ice, you know, like maybe you guys are coming out of a proverbial like or metaphorical winter season where, you know, you've been in reflection mode, you've been in introspection mode, you've taken the emotion out of things in order to detach and be able to jump forward with a more reasoned approach versus leading with your emotions. That might be something that's important to some of you. But the antelope spirit is saying that things are starting to progress now. If you've been feeling stagnant, things are starting to progress now. Um, gliding forward at a really natural pace. You know, this is definitely a divinely guided change within you that I see. Moving from this cold king of swords energy to this warm two of wands energy. We have the vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. So I think for this group, it's like whatever you are leaving behind, you know, because you are making a pivot here. So the vulture is about learning to kind of um, use or salvage what you have, right? And we also have electric eel. Bring your ideas to life, which there's a lot of ideation energy here, especially with this page of swords coming up. You guys could be like reviving your situation through a new idea and sort of like rebranding yourself or, um, yeah, it's like rebranding yourself is coming through for some of you guys. But the vulture spirit, if you guys think about what vultures do, it's like they scavenge for their food that's already transitioned over, okay? So even though their food has transitioned over, it's like, what am I trying to say? It's like you, <laughs> you learn to salvage what you have and that learning that like nothing, no time that you've spent on the old way of doing things is wasted time because you're able to learn something from it, right? You're able to learn something from it, examine it, get curious, do more research based off what you've experienced thus far, and then take that, even though it might not have worked out the way that you wanted, you can still take that and transmute it into creating the future that you want, the future outcome that you want. Hopefully that made sense. I feel like I'm so clumsy the way I explain that. Um, I think, too, the vulture spirit is talking about looking at the situation from a much higher perspective, which kind of is similar to the two of wands, right? With the Two of Wands, we're kind of zooming the lens out and looking to see what's ahead, like what options are out there for us. And the vulture is, you know, flying high, you know, surveying the ground and looking down. So there's definitely an element for you guys this month of zooming the lens out and looking at the bigger picture to help find the clarification you need around what direction you need to go or want to go. All right, so let's just close it out with these little coffee cup oracles for you guys. 
We have the rabbit, pregnancy and fears. There could be pregnancy energy for some of you guys here, but I kind of feel the fear that it's talking about is this king of swords energy in a sense, because this just feels like an energy that we're starting off the month with that we're frozen in a little bit. Like this is the way we've done it. We're holding on to the old way of doing things. This is how I think, how I feel, you know, and rabbits are also creativity, you know, like giving birth to something new. And so I think that there's actually a lot higher potential for you guys to shift into a more creative mindset and kind of move out of this structure, this way that you've done things in the past. We also have wife engagement. So there could be, for some of you guys, for some of you guys, I'm wondering if this could be, um, this could be themes around like how you think about like family or marriage. You know, maybe there's a shift in perspective on those things this month. Okay, we have a few things popping out, so we're going to take these. We have opportunities home. So there's there's maybe a potential. It's kind of like similar to this Two of Wands, where we've got like a door opening up and we have this potential path forward. Some of you guys could be, this is so interesting with documents too. So for some of you guys, this energy that you're going through this month could be around like a more like serious decision that you need to make especially with the skills of justice being here which can also talk about like legal documents and there's a lot of stuff around like housing marriage <laughs> children coming up pages are also children right so there could be something here around these themes <clears throat> that are all tied into these energies that you're moving through this month um Trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. But, you know, all in all, it seems like you guys are embarking on a new path. It's like it seems this month is all about moving from one way of doing things, moving out of kind of like a frozen winter season in your life and shifting into movement again, moving things forward and kind of changing direction from where you thought you might be going. There's definitely opportunities opening up for you. This month, I think, is the opportunity to explore what those opportunities are. And you might not have the full answer by the ending of the month, but the cool thing is, is that I feel June is giving you the time to explore and re-examine things. So definitely really interesting, Pile 1. Comment below. Let me know how you feel like this might resonate with your situation. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post the next reading, and I will see you then. Bye. Hey, Pile 2. If you guys picked out the Black Moonstone, this is going to be your reading. So let's go ahead and see what's ahead for you guys in the month of June. We're going to start with these cards here. So let's see. We have the Hierophant, Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and Saturn. Okay. So with Saturn being here, I definitely see that this might be a month where you guys might feel a bit restricted, but it's not meant to be a bad thing. Um, you know, Saturn in the moment can feel quite restricting because it's like kind of that responsible dad energy where it's like we have to do the responsible thing before we can get to the place we want to go. <laughs> so it's like reminding you this month to tie up any loose ends and to make sure that you are stepping into your responsibilities around certain things. Um, yeah, like tying up loose ends so that you can kind of lay a more um, stable foundation for yourself as you move forward. Starting off the month here with the Hierophant card, I feel like you guys are in potentially like some sort of advisor mode. Now, this can either be your energy or you getting this energy from someone else, but Hierophant is like mentorship. It's about being like that source of guidance and support for somebody. Typically, when we see the Hierophant, this is an indication that someone is really wise and someone is experienced and we're going to them for support, guidance, and advice, okay? Because they're like a subject matter expert um, or a person who's like highly regarded 
in whatever area or industry this is, okay? So for instance, this could be you guys going to a mentor for your career to get advice. This could be a spiritual advisor or spiritual mentor for some of you. This can also be your energy of stepping into this mentorship advisor sort of role. And I definitely see that there's a lot of research around this. There's a lot of research and studying, making sure that you have all the facts right. Okay. I definitely can see with the Three of Swords this month that there's some sort of potential um, disappointment or ending that you guys are moving through. And that could be why there's um, a need for this support. And we have teamwork energy here as well. So it's like what I'm guided to say with this Three of Swords is like whatever is going on in your life in the month of June, you are supported through this mentorship energy and this teamwork partnership energy with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, let's take a look. So in this card, we've got like three mermaids here and they're mourning the loss of their friend who's a whale. So there's some, I feel that there might be some sort of perception this month or maybe not perception. Maybe there will be some sort of grieving that you're moving through this month or loss or ending of some sort of something that feels really big in your life. Three of Swords can also talk about like harsh truths coming into the light. And this might be something that's coming in because there's something that needs your attention with Saturn here. Like this could be an energy you guys are experiencing because there's some sort of loose end that needs to be tied up. Okay, um, so we end the month here with the Three of Pentacles, and this is all about teamwork, collaboration, getting on the same page. So through whatever disappointment comes an opportunity to rebuild, okay? I definitely see you guys collaborating with others, getting the support that you need, and working on things in a positive way. So let's continue. I want to get some more insight here for Pile 2. What else does Pile 2 need to know about the month of June for them? Clearing the excess. You're entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away excess clutter, whether it is in your physical body or your physical space. That's kind of what I'm feeling with Saturn. It's like, the Three of Swords, to me, is maybe representing, I mean, it's a really large whale. So metaphorically, this could be talking about that excess for you, where this excess might be hard to let go of, but it's something that's needed. Because this card is talking about you guys being in a transitional phase in your life, okay? And certain things that are no longer needed are going to need to be released and let go, for the benefit of this transition that you're desiring or that you're moving through here, okay? Let's see what else for pile two. Convey your meaning. Reflect the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. Saturn is also giving like that respect energy. Um, let's see. Three of Swords can also sometimes talk about, like, I think I was saying harsh truths or blunt, harsh communications or realizations about something, right? Swords are also our communication. So there could be a need this month for you guys to kind of, like this card is talking about, rework with the Three of Pentacles or re-examine the way that you're expressing things to others. Like, are you really stern and strict in the way that you're mentoring, you know? Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart with respect and authority. Respect with the Hierophant card. Let's continue. Else 
for pile twos month ahead, month of June, please. We have the snake spirit, time to heal, definitely. Definitely seeing that opportunity with the three of swords. Ooh. Oh my gosh, hold on. So this one flew out on the floor, so that's definitely the one we need to take here. Okay. So the snake spirit is definitely saying, like, it's kind of like with the clearing of the excess, right? Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing the line from the movie, at the end of the movie Mean Girls, when Lindsay Lohan's character is saying, when you get bit by the snake, you have to suck the poison out. And that's kind of the energy I'm getting from this snake, right? It's... It's like you guys this month are sucking the poison out of your life, getting rid of the things that are not serving you any longer, maybe even allowing yourselves to feel these feelings of disappointment, grief, or sadness that you need to feel in order to mourn this loss and kind of move through that grief um, versus trying to suppress or ignore it. And snakes are also a beautiful time for rebirth because in this card, it almost it's kind of hard to tell, but... Um, you know, snakes, they outgrow and shed their skin, okay? And you guys, I think, are outgrowing something this month. And change and growth, you've got number five here. And I think you had it. Do you have it somewhere else too? Yeah, you have it here. Four plus one is five. And you have a five here. So I say all this to say change and growth is painful, you know, we have those growing pains. And sometimes, too, when going back to the snake, like when a snake is ready to go into shed, sometimes like the eyeballs, they can't see clearly because the, the skin grows over top of them, right? So when we're in this period of, of growth and, and shedding the skin, it can be painful and we can't maybe always see the why or see the reason for what we're going through. But it is temporary. Once the skin is shed, we can see clearly again. You know, it always is more clear when you come out on the other side, like why things happened the way they did. Sometimes in the moment, it can be harder to see that. And I kind of see a bit of this with that Three of Swords this month. We have set healthy boundaries with the Armadillo spirit. So you guys, I think you're thickening your skin this month. But I also think, you know, there's... With Saturn here, this is also about setting those strict or structured foundations in your life. This could have to do with other people too, right? Like making sure that you're setting clear boundaries with others, really protecting your energy. People or relationships could be what's being cleared out for some of you guys this month as well. I also think if it's not about other people, it's about setting boundaries and foundations for the structures in your life. You know, there seems to be with this three of pentacles, something that this group is collaborating on or wanting to build that could be quite creative for you. It might require teamwork, right? And whatever it is that you're building, you want to make sure that you have those healthy structures in, in place to support it. But especially when you're working with others. So definitely seems like this group is going through a period of growth in the month of June and healing and tying up loose ends. And, you know, if you guys are collaborating with others and needing to set boundaries, this card is really important to convey what you mean. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. So... For this group, I'm kind of getting the impression that maybe you have a hard time speaking up or you maybe have a hard time saying what you mean. That could be challenging for you. Or on the flip side, maybe some of you guys are really blunt with the way that you deliver. But however you're feeling needs to be conveyed. Whatever you want needs to be clear. You can't just expect people to know, you know, or assume what you mean. You've got to ask yourself, like, have I made it crystal clear what my intentions are? Have I made it crystal clear what my boundaries are? You can't get mad at people for not respecting your boundaries if you haven't been clear with them. So let's see. Pile two. Let's close it out with some of these. 
So we have the old man coming up here. Let's see. We have the moose. And we have the teeth. We also have an old woman here. Old man and old woman. I'm um I feel for some of you guys there could be something about like elders or grandparents that are showing up as significant for you this month. Um There's sadness around these these people. Now, for some of you, this could be more current stuff that you're healing through around people in your life, maybe like having recently transitioned or passed away. But sometimes when we see like ancestor energy like this, there could be a need to look at generational wounds in the family. I definitely see there's something about generational family stuff that's coming up for you guys this month. Okay. You guys could be receiving some sort of money as well. I'm seeing that here with that inheritance card. And if this is family stuff for some of you guys, I don't know why, but I feel like this group might sometimes feel like the black sheep in their family with this eccentric message coming up here. And maybe that's where some of this pain of the Three of Swords is coming from. But I definitely feel like this month is a need to sort of accept circumstances as they are. And not, like with the teeth card being here, this is talking about control and change. It definitely feels like change is coming in for you because you're moving through a tough period of growth and healing and transition in your life this month. And so trying to control it is only going to make the process harder for you. I think there's a need to sort of flow with the changes as best as you can. Um, this is like reminding me of the dream. You know, like people have dreams when all their teeth are falling out and that's usually associated with feeling like you've lost control in your life, from what I understand. I've never had that dream before, but I know um, people who have. And I think when we've Googled it, it talks about loss of control in your life. So I think there is sort of a need here to accept certain circumstances as they are while setting those healthy boundaries, giving yourself some sort of a framework here to live within. Um, so pile two, definitely a very interesting month ahead. I would really love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know how you feel like this might resonate with your situation. Um, if you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post the next video. And I'll see you then. Bye. Hey, pile three. If you guys picked out this malachite crystal, this will be your reading for the upcoming month of June. So let's get started. So we have the Hermit, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. Ooh, and we have Aries. Really interesting that we have Aries here because in your tarot cards, we're not getting a lot of Aries type of energy. <laughs> so this is interesting that we have this Aries energy being highlighted, but then lots of very slow moving, like kind of cold energy here. So. Aries is, like the card says, it's about taking action. Um, Aries is passion. It's energy. It can be anger. Um, it can be motivation and drive to reach a goal. Aries energy can sometimes be a bit impulsive in nature. It can be more focused on self versus others. I definitely kind of see, as you guys are starting off this month with the Hermit card, it's like, I'm wondering if you guys are really wanting... What, how am I trying to say? There is this energy bubbling beneath the surface this month with Aries. But I see through the tarot that we're kind of tempering that impulsivity to act. I feel that you guys are starting off the month of June kind of in this isolation mode. I think that there's been a need for this group to sort of withdraw, reflect, and maybe take some space from whatever the situation is that you're wanting to move towards. 
Um, this is about wanting to make wise choices, right? Reflecting inward, kind of detaching from the situation so that you can make wise, informed choices moving forward. For some of you guys, I'm almost feeling like maybe this Aries energy is someone else or something else sort of in trying to push you faster than you're willing to go because you guys have very slow moving energy here. And with the Six of Pentacles, I do see support and help coming in. This could be financial assistance as well for some of you guys. Um, and you've got a group here. So there's like a group here of support and help all around you, or maybe you're getting some sort of support or resources from multiple sources, okay? Um, but Six of Pentacles is also about balance, right? It's about the balance of give and take, the equal exchange of give and take. And I think that you guys are trying to take a more balanced approach between like pushing a full steam ahead and, but then also doing nothing, right? It's going to be important to take breaks this month, I feel. Um, if you need them, pile two, uh, I'm sorry, pile three. And we kind of in the month here with four of swords energy. So it's like there's a little bit of activity happening here, but then we move right back into this sort of reclusive <laughs> energy. And this is all about taking a break, you know, taking a mental break, retreating from the situation, cooling it down. So again, it's interesting we have this fiery Aries energy here. But most of your cards are not that fiery energy. I see you guys going back into reflection mode, taking a mental break from the situation, putting it on ice maybe for a little while. And you've got, again, support all around you, kind of watching you, looking at what you're doing. Um, but I feel like you guys are kind yeah. of putting your own mental health and your own needs first here, despite all of the people or influences that are around you. So let's continue. I'm really like intrigued right now about what this is. So what else for pile three in the month of June? What do they need to know? Drift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. Yeah, I think that you guys are certainly prioritizing your own mental health and your own inner peace this month. There could be more of an emphasis on gratitude for some of you guys as well. Um being grateful for what you have, even if you're in a situation that's kind of challenging at times. Oops. Hold on. Too many. Okay. Way too many. This one just moved and it flipped in reverse. So we're going to, I feel like I, that has to stay like that. Let's see. Inner desires. Set some intentions. You're entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. Interesting. Look, connect to source. Go within to discover what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. So there's lots of confirming evidence here that this is going to be a month where you guys are going inward, reflecting on your desires with Aries, reflecting on your passions, reflecting on what action you want to take with regard to your situation. I do feel like this card flipped in reverse for a reason because I think by the ending of the month of June, you are starting to slowly come out of this period of reflection mode, okay? Four of Swords reverse is when we're coming out of that time, feeling like we're a little bit ready to rejoin the world or rejoin the situation here. And I think it's because you've gotten clear on what your intentions are, okay? Sometimes we can't move forward until we, we feel clear about our intentions. And especially for some of you guys, if this is involving money, I can see why there's a need to reflect before taking any rash actions. And this is talking about a sudden windfall. Sometimes for me, the Six of Pentacles can be loans 
Um, I've seen the Six of Pentacles as like severance agreements. Like it can be sort of like um, a financial support that you guys are getting this month. But maybe you don't want to get that financial support until you're really clear on your intentions with it, you know, which makes perfect sense. All right, what else for pile three in the month of June? Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. I feel like this decision you guys are moving into is like, it's about something to do with your foundation, your stability, your maybe money is tied into this, but also your passions. And I think that... Um, you do have this Aries energy within you. Like you do have this fearless, bold energy within you that's ready to be channeled and harnessed. But I do see you guys making sure before you just full steam ahead. There could be with the Hermit card here, maybe there's a recognition on your end early on this month that there are some fears around this direction that you may want to be going towards. And there's an, there's an energy of kind of going within and reflecting on those things to try to understand the root cause of where it's coming from. Let's see. The snake spirit, time to heal. Interesting. This came up in pile two. I mean, I definitely can see, can see healing coming up here with the four of, uh, four of swords, the hermit, even this card here which is talking about reconnecting to your inner peace. I do think for this group, though, there is, this is like a growth period that you're moving through with the snake spirit because it's like you are, it does feel like this group is moving into a change or, or dealing with a situation that might be a little bit challenging at times um, or just have aspects to it that you find a little scary. Like it doesn't feel super challenging in the sense like, it just feels like there might be some fears that you guys are working through and shedding as you move through whatever this process is. But like I was telling pile, pile two when this card came up, right now, as you guys are moving through this energy in June, there may be some uncertainty about the path forward, which I think is why you're in this hermit kind of detachment mode. But I do feel like by the ending of the month, with the snake spirit being here, that skin is shedding. You're going to be able to see the path forward a lot more clearly than you were at the beginning. So let's see. What else does pile three need to know about the month of June? So we're going to close it out with these. So we have the wheel, endings and beginnings. Oh, we have the groom, husband, marriage. We have the dove, peace and serenity. How beautiful is this? We also have the whale, the wisdom keeper, which is like hermit energy as well. So, I mean, it seems like you guys are, are thinking about some sort of major commitment this month. Now, this is literally talking about marriage. So there could be something about like, you know, finding your husband or getting married, maybe signing some sort of a contract though, just in general. Like there's something that you're committing to long-term that feels like a really big change and a really big decision to make. And I think you guys are kind of reflecting on whether or not this decision is going to bring you peace that you're desiring in your life. But I'm guided to say with this wheel being here, you're the one in charge. You know, you're the one that's driving this wheel. You can steer the wheel wherever, whatever course you want to go to. It's up to you. Like this isn't something that feels like it's happening to you. Um, it doesn't feel like it's something that's you're being pushed. I mean, you might be feeling some sort of push or pressure to do it, but you're the one that makes the ultimate choice right now. Okay, this doesn't feel like a situation that's like destined, like it's got to happen, you know, per the universe necessarily. So, um, 
This is so interesting, Pile 3. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. How do you feel like this resonates with your upcoming month ahead and maybe some of the plans that you've got? Comment below and let me know. If you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be updated when I post the next video. And I'll see you then.